Right now, crews to our south are working to clean up major storm damage. This is a look at the mess left behind in DeSoto County. Residents in Arcadia were dealing with winds close to 65 miles an hour. And check out this view from Eagle 8 HD at the damage in Venice. Look closely, you can see the roof of that strip mall torn right off. If there's any good news out of all of this, it's that no one was injured. But we are not out of the woods just yet. There is another chance for strong storms tomorrow. We have team coverage for you tonight, starting with Paul Mueller. He's in Sarasota County. Crews spent much of the night here clearing up the debris, filling up dumpster after dumpster, taking them nearly 12 hours to clean up what Mother Nature left behind in just minutes. As night falls here at the Arc Plaza on Tamiami Trail in Venice, crews continue cleanup, crumpled pieces of aluminum twisted in every which way. The wind started blowing up and it just went boom. Just around 11 a.m., the metal part of the roof went flying. And you're thinking, like, oh, what happened? A strong storm with winds gusting up to 45 miles an hour. That's what happened. Inside Alan and Karen Tyne's Yummy Donuts, 20 people immediately, Alan called his wife. And I got the call, Karen, it's bad. B-A-D, bad. You need to get over here now. Did people know what had just happened? They did not. But once they did find out... They got their bagels and donuts and left. Very casual. It was crazy. And it wasn't just the roof, but damage to cars outside. Then, an hour later, in Arcadia... I came home and just stuff was thrown everywhere. The, the truck had been damaged. Another storm with winds of up to 65 miles an hour. Roofs torn off homes, trees knocked over, debris throughout the neighborhood while back in Venice. Tonight, I think we're just going to go home and decompress and start over first thing tomorrow morning. And as you can see, still, the debris has to be taken away. The power is back on. That's the good news. And the Times say they hope to be up and running by Sunday. In Sarasota County, Paul Mueller, News Channel 8.